The Minister for Tourism and Urban Renewal, Honorable Robert Tong, has described a meeting between the government of Dominica and the management of Liat as fruitful. Here's Shana Esprit with more. Minister Tong and Minister for Public Works and Ports, Miriam Blanchard, represented Dominica at the meeting along with Acting Chief Executive Officer of LIAT, Julie Reifer Jones. The meeting gave government a chance to state clearly to the LIAT management Dominica's position on the current situation with regards to the airline's service to the country, as well as hear directly from LIAT the current challenges facing the airline. We expressed clearly to Leah the need for improved service to Dominica. As you know, the Honorable Prime Minister wrote to Liat recently and the meeting was a follow-up to the Prime Minister's letter. The importance of Liat to Dominica's air access is critical and it cannot remain business as usual for the country, Minister Stong stated in a press statement. A new schedule to take effect from June 1st, 2016 will see increased flights by Liat to Dominica. This will include the reintroduction of a direct flight to Puerto Rico four days a week and additional flights from Barbados and Antigua allowing for same-day connections. Minister Tong welcomed this new schedule. Same-day connections are very important to us. The reintroduction of flights to Puerto Rico and additional flights from Barbados and Antigua will allow this to happen. This will also mean the afternoon and early evening flights will once again resume at the Douglas Charles Airport, Minister Tong stated. The Liat management expressed satisfaction that Dominica is an integral part of Liat's regional agenda. However, they confirmed that a number of challenges still plague the airline, including staffing issues. The addition of a 10th ATR aircraft later this year will further boost capacity.